Look at this fucking bracket. This shit is mad sick. We got Goichi Hook, Wawa Fenrich on winner's side. Shanks versus Mato, Kazunoko versus Kane on loser side. So we have, what, two French players, four Japanese players, a uh, Spanish player, and an American player in top eight. El Padre. That's the one. Got to work on my Spanish for this moment. These teams might look a little familiar. Uh, yeah, these characters are all excellent, obviously. No, n not surprising to see Bardock and GT Goku on both teams. And then Piccolo and Goku are the Switch characters here. The only characters that we don't see them uh, mirroring. I think Goichi's team is a little bit more stable, to be honest with you. Uh, I kind of like his team overall a little bit better than Hook's. Mostly because of the Goku assist in the back and because Goku's such a solid anchor. He's not really like, yeah, he's just a stable character. Piccolo is obviously super strong. He's a really, really good character, but I think you have to build a team around him, and I think Goku assist is great with him. Super Saiyan Goku assist, I guess I should say. Bardock assist is great with him too, but he's playing GT Goku as well. Yes, sir. Good round starter, depending on what your opponent's gonna go for. And right here we see that like, the, the round star from Goichi is a very common one. Super common. Because what he's looking for here is Jump forward plus call GT Goku assist. Jump forward to cut off this screen space up here. GT Goku assist does the same thing. And if you block GT Goku assist, it forces you down to the ground. You get pulled down from the block stun. And then Bardock gets a fuzzy, which is extremely good, right? Piccolo is a tall character, and landing a fuzzy on him there is super easy. Uh, it's easy for most characters, especially Bardock and Adult Gohan are really good at setting up fuzzies off of that. So... Uh, yeah, that's the the round start that he goes for. Hook does defensive jump back L, auto combo to beat Bardock air to air. Really, really strong from this character. Combo route builds him the bar on the last hit. Vanish, Dragon Rush for the knockdown. Set him up with the meaty orb. Because he blocked it in the air, he doesn't have the ability to reflect. And this is a really good uh, coverage with the assist from Hook. Blocks it in the air, goes light, light. He gets under it and tries to run under Piccolo, but the immediate Lariat assists to uh, snipe him. Yeah, he's going to build up the bar by the end of this. He has GT Goku assist as well. Jump H, GT Goku assist. That was going to be a mix-up between delayed air dash or not. Right, there's good coverage. Jump air to air. He goes for the H to put him in block stun. GT Goku assist to lock him down. Jump, and then he get delayed air dash or not. So spark out. Mix up here, and I love that mix up, right? So you jump with the GT Goku assist there, and then you get to do the the slow fall. Do I go for like the delayed air dash? Do I just go low? Like you have a choice there. Miss the extension off GT Goku and the tag in. So Goichi tried to cover there. He tried to use his assist while he was tagging to cover, but yeah, Hook just had a clean snipe. Dragon Rush, Fuzzy. No, he goes for Hell Zone. Wow. Yeah, that mix-up I actually think was a little obvious. It looked kind of hard to block, but I think it was a pretty clean uh, choice from Goichi. Yeah, or about run up, uh, reflect from Goichi, snipe. So we talk about this assist a lot, and this is the main thing I want to point out about how strong it is. If you haven't seen much GT Goku in this game, this is why people love his assist so much. Full screen assist call from... Hooking God, he runs up to cut off the edge of the screen here so that Goichi's force forward. And I mean, look at this. Diagonal covers a huge portion of the screen. And if you air block it, notice that when you air block in this uh, game, a lot of moves will do this. They pull you down to the ground. So Goichi gets pulled down into the offensive series from Hook, which is where he ticks him with low into cross up. Tries to get the Lariat assist to extend, but he mistimes it. That assist is so good. It makes it really difficult for a lot of, uh, you know, situations where you want to up back in neutral. And, yeah, it is really, really hard to see. <laughs> if you haven't seen too much GT Goku, you probably haven't been watching very much Dragon Ball Fighters. So, yeah. Had to spend three bars. I don't think he, well, spent three bars. I don't think he had to spend three bars. But, yeah, chose to. This is a great start from Hook. Yeah, air to air jumping L. Corner carry from GT Goku is awesome. The Dragon Fist Flash, I think is the name of the move. Dragon Flash Fist. I don't remember. Wow, empty Pogo Dragon Rush. Yeah. The H version of this move is this move is pretty degenerate, to be honest with you. In general. H version of the move is homing. So it's extremely fast in homing. And then just do it again, and he ends up running into it from the auto combo. 
Vanish for the confirm. Auto combo for the side switch. This shit is so good, man. Yeah, and it's a slide knockdown if you do the medium version. Yeah, clean bait. Extension? A little too far, but he got the air to air anyway. GT Goku is so good. Yeah, you see a lot of kind of double assist characters. GT Goku plus Goku is a really, really solid team to start with whatever point character like Bardock. It's the team Goichi runs, obviously. It's super good. The team is very stable, very strong. Again, look at how good GT Goku assist is. This shit is crazy. We saw it earlier on block. This is a good example of the hit stun it has. So, key blast to cut off the ground. GT Goku assist, diagonal, cuts off the screen there. And look at how long the hit stun is. Double jump confirm. Yeah, sparks out of the Dragon Rush. So we ha we saw early spark from Goichi and now spark from Hook. Forces the mix-up. And yeah, assist is gone. Nice. This is actually good damage with sparking. And he's got a shit ton of bar. Yeah, immediate level 3. Maybe also Hell Zone after. No, just goes for jump, air dash, cancel, overhead plus Bardock. Snatch. Nice. That was a good challenge. Double jump to extend and then use the GT Goku assist back close to the ground. Probably level 3 of a GT Goku. No, just goes to the level one. Wow, reverse Kamehameha, but he didn't actually extend it or anything. Gets hit by the last hit. Nice auto combo. And yeah, the power pull range is so long. And it means that like his combo routes, they feel like they should only be good mid screen. But like actually he always carries to the corner and they're really solid. OS from uh, Goichi on defense. This is where I think it's really hard to beat Goichi because he's very like slow and steady when he has the lead. His defense is immaculate, obviously. And if you hit him here, like you're not going to kill him unless you get a chunky hit. Yeah, nice work. Jumps over, just falls, lands. Nice extension, carry him to the corner. Look at the corner carry from GT Goku. Boom, boom, level three. And then after this, the Oki is incredibly good. Pogo in the front. Yeah, it gives you the wall bounce. And then after this, it's just all she wrote. Extension, Dragon Rush. Built the level 3, but he doesn't even need it. Two level 1s cleans it up. That mix-up is messed up. His post-level 3 mix-up off Spirit Bomb is whew, very good. It's everything you wanted out of a level 3 mix-up. Especially, like, it's very comparable to Bardock's level 3 mix-up from before. Uh, except, like, they took it away from so many characters, and now he just gets to do it. So it's like, alright, well, that's pretty good, I guess. GT Goku assist, confirm. That assist is so buff. Oh, he tried to drop him into the Goku assist and then extend with Super Dash. I like that idea. Nice. Set him up with the fuzzy. That assist was not only there to help him extend, but keep him safe in case it was blocked. Fuzzy there? Yeah. So, if you block a an H, especially in the air like that, when you block moves in the air in this game, you have extra frames of blocks done. So, you're even more plus. This is like plus 5,000. So the fuzzy after, you can see he was already going for it. Sparks out. Air dash over, he's gonna sandwich him. Yeah, this mix up, I like that fake out. One hit of jump M into the dragon rush. GT Goku assist gives you lots of block stun, pulls people down to the ground. Yeah, nice. Kept it pretty tight. And Goichi tried to wiggle. He got counter hit. I wonder if he... What, are, what did he hit, actually? He did Super Dash plus Bardock. 2M Super Dash. Did he try to challenge with Light after, thinking there was no assist or something? I'm not sure. But he's dead. Spark fully invincible? Yeah, you have tons of invincibility frames. And they've changed it so that sparking can be activated out of block stun. That was maybe in the second or third patch. It used to be that you couldn't uh, before. That was weird. He got saved by his assist and then the vanish kind of actually helped him out. 
Nice air to air. He like threaded the needle. There was that small little bit of space in there where he could sneak up with that rising jump L. That was a good read from Hook. He's pretty... The thing about Hook in general is that he's a relatively defensive player. Nice. That was a good call out. Gave him space. Let him tag. Extension off the orb. Level 3. GT Goku also has small hurt box. I think he has Gotenks' hurt box, I believe. Yeah, ran up, went for another one, level three to get out. There's plus frames after the charge up uh, 236S, so. He was like, let me get the fuck out of here. Yeah, reflect, defensive call on GT Goku. That was clean play from Hook, actually. I like that a lot. Throw the Javelin. Special Beam Cannon. So, I think there is a reward for defense in this game. Uh, it just, you know, it's only very obvious when you see super high level players play, I think. Defensive air to air, assist, man, you know, I feel like Goichi has been hit by a lot more Bardock uh, assists than I expect. Yeah, I mean, Hook was rewarded for blocking out that series and having, like, good defense right there. He was looking for a sparking bait, but it didn't work. Uh, he's gonna start building meter soon. Special beam cannon, not enough. Try to bait the sparking. That was smart from uh, Goichi. This is a pretty impossible hill to climb, though. Look at this corner carry, by the way. Yeah, it didn't quite reach. I think I was gonna say he's a little too far, maybe. So this was good defense from Hook, but also then a good chase. So when you see right here, you see how GT Goku has too much momentum. Hook air dashes under and then looks for the L to try to get out. Pogo hits him, vanish cancel the Pogo, and then still gets a combo. That was fucked up. Pogo's so good too. Oh, he reflected looking for the held vanish button. That's always a guess, like whether they're going to commit to something there. Like, uh, I don't know. They can commit to, yeah, he's in level three. They can commit to a button, or the defender can commit to a 2H, or like, you know, Goichi was being safe there and not committing to something risky. In the front, Dragon Rush. So, double GT Goku's left. You know, I like in the front Dragon Rush because a lot of people reflect not knowing where the mix-up's going to hit. So, I think it's not a bad idea. Da, 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 da. Yeah, he had committed to the overhead mix-up already. He didn't think Hook was going to get hit. Super Dash in front, Air Dash over. This is the kill. Power pull. Still had the Super Dash after. Yeah, that. what's crazy is that that game was fully in Hook Gang God's control, right? Like, it was all him. And it still was pretty fucking close. <laughs> I think if Hook lost that game, you know, it was it was more than over. Nice swift punish. Yeah, that's a good corner carry. You get the drop after. So if you're close like that, you don't actually go for Dragon Rush. You just go for the elbow drop. If you're a little further back, then you can go for the uh, Dragon Rush. Right there, that was Hook and God trying to bait a tag, but safe tag option or safer tag option from Hook. We've seen it punished once, but he does run up, call GT Goku assist, and then tag. And you can see how good GT Goku is assist is at cutting off the screen space. Piccolo can normally jump back and air-to-air -air tags with jumping L. But if you're in block stun, it's not, you know, it doesn't really work. And Hook called his own assist there to try to clip him. Nice. Got under air to air. I don't think, like, I think Hook just got crossed up. H Demon Slicer gets him out. Tatsu, stay in the front. That's a mix up between air dash back uh, to the other side or stay in the front. Yeah, no break. Yeah, level three. It's not powered up. 
This level 3 gets a little bit stronger and uh, a little bit better when one character is dead. But the Oki after is pretty similar to what Goku gets after his level 3. Yeah, Sparks out after the staggers. Pulls him back down to the ground. He still has Piccolo assist. Plus frames. Caught him flinching. Air dash cancel? No. Oh, no. That's a huge drop. Nice. That was a great air to air from Hook. Yeah, tagging a Piccolo. I gotta tell you, that air dash back H has worked a few times on Goichi trying to challenge after blocking a super dash. Snatched up. You're dead. Do I watch the No Frills podcast? Yeah, occasionally. I don't catch every episode. Orb caught him. I feel like these little delays have caught uh, Goichi off guard. Like, run up Orb, and I think he was just expecting him to run up and look air to air because he's been doing that a lot. Dragon Rush. Snap. Yeah, goes for the Hell Zone mix up. You have no guard cancel here. You got no assist. Yeah, I think Spark Out is probably the right choice. Hook doesn't have his sparking left, so you might as well. Damn. And he's going to loop, of course, because it's Goichi. M Mixer. Or M uh, Lariat, and then. Clean it up, extend with the assist, build five bars, mix up, nice block. Want to talk about getting rewarded for defense? That was a great example. Nice! <laughs> Damn, dude, is that two or three? That's two level threes uh, he's just mashed out on defense. Almost got that super dash confirmed. The thing is to, that was clean. To combo off of that, uh, you have to super dash like before it hits essentially. You really have to like call assist super dash really quickly or it doesn't combo. If you try to confirm it, it's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Super dash plus Goku to set up the mix up. Air dash M S. He has no bar. Yeah, one one meter won't kill. Try to bait the tag. Nice. He backs up, tries to bait the tag. Interrupt on the dragon fist flash flash fist. I don't remember the name of that thing. DFF. Yep, falling back key blast. Any key blast that goes diagonal like that, that's easy to confirm. His or Kid Boos are good examples. Really, really good. The big nod from Goichi. Yeah, that's winner semi, so two out of three. Goichi cleaned up. Last game was really dominant, but it was close. Uh, it was a close set for sure.